so many guys around the perimeter that can catch and shoot the basketball. A lot of focus is going to be on Luka tonight, but it's important to move the basketball. Two misses for the Clippers. So this is a long pull-up three. That's one way of beating a double. Just let it go from 30 feet. Paul George, the three, and good. Six games. Six. The game is really simple. Clippers played at home. They beat New Orleans big Sunday night, 134-109. Their fifth straight win. Knocking down the three is Pat Beverly. Up against Penny Smith. Both free throws made by Luka. Zubat screen. George bad miss on the three, but Zubat's positioned for a rebound. Perimeter. You're going to get good looks, very comfortable shots. And you just have to be uh, ready to let it go. Three for seven on threes this year for Powell. There's a shorty right there off the window. Smart basketball. Play. George hits his second three of the game. Montrez Harrell is in. And Hardaway goes down. George is left three for three. You fall, you have to get up. You're going to fall sometimes. Ball to your ball. <laughs> get up. <laughs> Luka on the drive. Hey, sets the defense in the lane. Missed the chippy, but fouled. The notification, the Twitter notification is like, what? Yeah. Kawhi's going to the Clippers, and Paul George is getting traded. Christmas in the summertime. And George hits another three. Yeah, he's been pretty good. He's four for six. on the front end of a back-to-back. -back. Sure, there'll be some load management tomorrow night when they play on the road against the Memphis Grizzlies. Then they'll go on to San Antonio and play them on Friday night. And Leonard, based on his past. Well, they have history. Shot fake against Harrell. Drive by Luka. Steal by Pat Beverly. Beverly and George run the brakes. Here comes Paul George. That's his first two points basket of the game. Score for six from the three-point line. So he's going to stay confident, Mike, when you allow him easy baskets in the open floor. And it's George with a steal. Paul George in first quarter takeover mode. We saw that happen with Luka last week. And it's a loose ball that's dug out by nine rebounds and leading Toronto to a title. The door is shut by the Dallas defense when Kawhi drove it. Now Paul George, a deep three, and it's no good. The glass, and Dallas has it. Luka again. Luka in the open floor. Good addition to Powell, and it's off Powell's hands. And this is trouble. It's a four-on-one, and a stop and cost three, and Paul George missed it, and a long rebound is picked up on the move. Kawhi Leonard, good challenge by Hardaway Jr. Dwight Powell with the rebound, and Luka throws it all the way up the floor, and Paul George jumped the route and intercepts. And then a one-handed pass by Kawhi, and Green, a missed three, boomerangs right back with three, Green. Upstairs for the rebound, Porzingis. He's got five in the game, averaging nine. Luka around Paul George, fouled on the floor. Into a good spot for what looked like a comfortable-looking angle bank shot. Mohark was scoring a three. Falls to Paul George inside, and no good. Porzingis an outlet. Luka. The question becomes, and we got to put it down. Meanwhile, go to the Baja. Go to the Baja, baby. <laughs> Paul George, late shot clock, no good. Towering up for an offensive rebound as Zubac. And out to George, who missed that three. And Porzingis, remember that last week, Porzingis had a game against Cleveland, where he was in a tough spot after the first half. And and six for six in the third quarter. He's made two to start the third quarter. But on that go around, well, his, his primary responsibility is to try to do that. Containing Luka, I was turning it over too much right now. That turnover is the 15th of tonight's game. Zubats inside receives the pass, lays it in. Bring his space and pace. Teams don't like the in-between stuff, but the Clippers, yep. they do it as well as anybody. Luka misses the three-point attempt. Kawhi Leonard in between gamed his way all the way to a title last year. The finals MVP, averaging 30 in the playoffs. Oh, a bounce. Points in the first half. That is fortunate for Dallas. If he's on his game, it could be a whole lot worse than what it's been. Dallas with a takeaway. That's what you got to do. You got to get some stops right now at this juncture in the game. The only way you're going to stay in it here in the third quarter, the offensive foul. So, got to chop at it. Still a lot of threats out there to score the ball for the Clippers. One of them, Paul George, who receives a pass from Lou Williams and goes good. And Montrezl Harrell has a head of, the, head of steam. Oh, he missed, but Paul.
Paul George followed it in. Paul George. Was playing so alert. And the lead is back to 21 points. As George will shoot from mid range. A lot to do with that one. Yep. George looking for Harold. And it's a turnover. JJ transition on the blow by pass to defense, but Jermichael Green caught him for the block. First line of defense was breached, but Green provided the help. Paul George leaves a three-pointer short. How did you look right now? Luka with a drive. And he got George up off his feet. Doc going to one of his go-to weapons, Kawhi Leonard, 9 for 17, 24 points tonight. Average is almost 26. Steal, L.A. George in the passing lane. Kawhi Leonard, nifty spin dribble, but DeLon Wright recovered. Here's a drive by Beverly, an offensive foul. Porzingis, Luka, Hardaway, Biddy Smith have all walked to the scores table to go in. Paul George inside blocked, and a loose ball squirts outside, and Borea picks it up. So J.J. and the four fellas waiting to come into the game will be the lineup for Dallas here in just a bit as it's Wright losing it. Powell trying to catch Paul George. Got him. It will yeah, that's out. His, that's his shot. It looks like a bad shot sometimes, but he makes it. Short on the three for Zinkas. George grabs the rebound. Dallas shooting 36%. Clippers hovering around 41-42%. Triple threat position. It was Leonard who fired a jumper. Harrell with the rebound. Clippers, the best offensive rebounding team in the league. Yep. Harrell is so quick to the offensive glass. And it pays off at a second chance basket after Harrell's offensive rebound.